I am Lamont at Large. Today, I am across the street from 5514 Lisbon Avenue here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here today to talk about the unsolved murder of Lala Brown and Chaton Claiborne. Yolanda Rose Lala Brown was an American R&B singer best known for being featured on the track SEX with Life Jennings, which reached number three on the Billboard Hot R&B Hip Hop Charts and peaked at number 37 on the Billboard Hot 100 in October of 2006. The track SEX was a cautionary tale warning young women about the pitfalls and dangers of unprotected sex and appeared on his second studio album, The Phoenix. She then toured with Jennings but was released following a disagreement with him. In June 2007, Brown returned to Milwaukee, still set on becoming a solo artist, and began working on her debut album. Prior to her death, Brown recorded three songs, I'm Feeling It, Rescue Me, and Give Them What They Want. The latter song, many believe, is autobiographical. On October 19, 2007, Brown and her producer boyfriend, Jaton Kool-Aid Claiborne, were shot and killed by an unknown gunman in the Loud Enough Productions recording studio in Milwaukee. Both had been dead at least three days before they were discovered. Although autopsies were performed on both Brown and Claiborne, results were never released. Brown was survived by her mother, father, siblings, as well as her daughter. Brown's funeral was held on October 25, 2007 at the Mason Temple Church of God in Christ, Milwaukee. Hundreds of people attended, including Life Jennings. Burial followed at Graceland Cemetery in Milwaukee. The case was featured on America's Most Wanted in February of 2010. So, across the street right here, this is where Lala Brown and her producer boyfriend, Jaton Claiborne, were both brutally shot and killed on October 19th of 2007. Their bodies hadn't been discovered for about three days after the killing. And to this day, there has been absolutely no conviction in the murders of both of them. There's been several arrests, but nobody's talking, nobody's saying anything. And she was very, very close to becoming a very, very big music star and she had a hit with life jennings that she had sang the hook on and whoever the person was that killed those two more than likely they knew who he was because that you know this you know this is not a good neighborhood and this uh studio at the time had a lot of you know a lot of uh, valuable musical equipment locked inside so it was heavily locked so whoever was the killer he was invited in and he killed both of them, took both of their lives. So we're going to go visit the grave of Lala Brown real quick. Okay, she's buried right over here. This is the grave of Yolanda Rose Brown, better known as Lala, May 20th, 1986 to October 19th, 2007. An angel visited the green earth and took a rose away. You were on the very cusp of stardom and fame and your life was taken by a scumbag killer for no reason killed you and your boyfriend took both of your lives rest in peace to this woman if it wasn't for that cowardly demon that did this to her you would have heard her music all over the radio rest in peace to Lala Milwaukee, stand up. Do not let this woman's life be lost in vain. If anybody out there knows the person or persons responsible for killing Lala Brown and her boyfriend, Jaton Claiborne, please 
give the Milwaukee Cold Case Homicide Unit a call. 414-935-7360. The family has put up a $10,000 reward for information leading to the suspect or suspects in this horrible case. I am Lamont at Large. Catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.